Hey, what's going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link. Coming back at you guys on a Thursday, June 10th, 2021, for another issue of the Bungie Weekly Blog, This Week at Bungie. And this time around, lots of news about Bungie themselves. They're going to be participating in quite a few things coming up. Let's go ahead and dive on into this week's news. First things first, the Splicer Fashion Show is in full swing, if you happen to miss out on the swap last week. Going until the 12th of this month, meaning you got two more days, you can go and take pictures of your Guardian in-game, take pictures of the appearance customization screen, and then post those on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag Splicer Fashion Show in order to enter a fashion show contest. Winners will get access to an exclusive emblem. Guardians all over have been posting pictures of their characters on social media, including yours truly. So if you're interested in participating, go ahead, take a couple of pictures of yourself in-game, make sure you get that character customization screen so Bungie can see everything you use for your armor, and send those off on Twitter and Instagram. But moving on into the TWAB here, next week we've got some challenges coming our way. Raid challenges in particular, which will begin rolling out for the Vault of Glass next week. Now, if you were one of the fire teams that decided to take the plunge into Vault of Glass on day one or watch the action online, you'll be familiar with how to complete these challenges, but proper execution is still going to be the key. Now, why make things harder than they need to be? Well, simple, because more risk equals more rewards. Whichever encounter has its challenge mode active each week will reward an additional chest if you're successful. So, good luck completing the challenges as they go live. After that, we get a quick look into a newly launched inclusion club at Bungie called Women at Bungie. The members of Women at Bungie come from all across the studio and rally around their shared mission to provide a safe, empowering space to share their common experiences as women, a place to build a network, and give and receive practical and emotional support. They posted an entire article about the club's goals and everything involved with it. See, if you happen to miss out on that, there is, of course, a link to that in the TWAB, which we'll have a link to down in the description box below. But speaking of exclusive clubs, the next one is probably one of the biggest and best out there. GCX 2021 is almost ready to kick off. The Gaming Community Expo is kicking off next week on a virtual space station that you can visit from June 17th through June 20th. GCX is Florida's premier community gaming expo. It started off as GuardianCon all those years ago and has become bigger and better every year since. It's generally a community-based charity event filled with like-hearted gamers coming together to make the world a better place. And as usual, Bungie's going to be having a big impact on it. GCX's website is up and live right now with all the details about the event. Of course, we'll have a link to that down in the description box below as well. But Bungie has hidden seven dead ghosts in various places around the Space Station website, and it's your job to do your best and go and find them. But that's not all that's going on. As is tradition with GCX, there will be a charity marathon running alongside the event, raising money 24-7 for St. Jude's Children's Hospital from June 13th until the event ends on June 20th. Tune in on the GCX channel to see some of your favorite content creators doing wacky and amazing stuff to raise money for the kids. Bungie will even be offering another special emblem for any $50 donations during the charity marathon. And this emblem will be available for that exact amount, $50. No more, no less. And of course, one emblem per email. Just make your donation during any block while the marathon is active, and you will receive your emblem code in an email soon after the event ends. And then we get to see that brand new emblem right here. But that's not the only reward available for guardians who are looking to give. Bungie will also be donating seven Eris Morn statues signed by the voice of Eris Morn herself, Morla Gorondona. For every donation of exactly $7, you will have a chance to receive one of these awesome collectibles when they ship from the Bungie store this fall. And of course, as usual, whenever these charity events go live, all profits from Bungie Foundation items on the Bungie store will be going to the charity in question. This time around, of course, the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital from June 13th until June 20th. Bungie caps this section off by stating that this is an event we always look forward to and we're so glad that it's being done virtually this year. And that I can definitely agree with. This event is always amazing. The community always shows up and shows out. You guys donate so much money to charity year after year after year. 
and I'm looking forward to us breaking every donation goal again this time around. And again, if you're interested in attending the Digital GCX 2020 event, there will be a link to their official website down in the description box below. All right, now, last but not least, we have a bit of really good news to cover concerning one of, in my opinion, the best new exotics in the game, the Warlock's exotic boots, the Boots of the Assembler. These dropped in an amazing format, got kind of a nerf to kind of keep the game stable and keep it from crashing, and we're getting a great update here in this swap. Here's what they had to say. Good news for everyone who likes rifts and pants, Boots of the Assembler will be returning to their release functionality, with a little bit extra as well. On release, there was an issue with the exotic that would cause crashes due to a large number of rifts and noble seekers being created. As a stopgap measure, the perk was changed to prevent those crashes without disabling the exotic while an engineering fix could be developed to address the crashing problem. Now that the work is done to prevent the crashes in the first place, they can return to their formal Riftastic glory in our next update. Oh, and now empowering Noble Seekers will properly proc Benevolent Dawn for Attunement of Grace Warlocks. Hallelujah. Really happy to hear about this change. I was super bummed when the Boots of the Assembler got nerfed a few weeks back. I pretty much stopped using them after that. I liked having infinite rifts and infinite noble seekers to just keep my entire fire team not just alive, but overshield buffed and with the uh, benevolent dawn boost as well. And I'm really happy that they're being brought back to the level they were at upon release. Now, Bungie just needs to do this for those uh, Hunter Boots. At least that's so much as keeping the big damage boost you get now for getting 8 stacks, but lower the number of stacks back down to 4. I'm just saying, why not? But alright Guardians, that's pretty much it for the biggest bits of news contained in this week's issue of the Bungie Weekly Blog. This week at Bungie. This season is flying by and we've still got plenty more content on the horizon. Looking forward to all of it. But that's the news and those are my thoughts. Be sure to leave me yours down in the comment section below. Are you going to be attending GuardianCon this week? Are you looking forward to some wacky donation goals over on the Twitch stream? Be sure to let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. I'm out for now. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.